Let me start. Okay, I guess that everybody knows why now we are talking about pilot climate. At the end of this talk, you will see why, but pilot climate has become one of the most important items to try to discover or to understand where we are going on. If you open any kind of newspaper, you find that we are cooling, we are warming, we are changing our earth, and uh, probably in the next 20,000 years, we will disappear somewhere. Now, as geologists, we are trying to understand if this is true or not true, and how fast we are going toward these changes, and of course, how humanity, so, el, el poco, el pueblo, el pueblo, puede acelerar o decelerar esta cosa. Okay, I have written here some item. Climate is changing, of course it's changing. Which are the evidences of this change? And is this a normal process or is something that is strange, that is occurring now but it never occurred before? Which, this point is important, which have been recent past climate changes? Because of course, think in, I guess that more or less all of you have done a course of geology. When you speak about the story of the Earth, you speak about millions of years, or billions. The age of the Earth is 4.5 billions, and we normal, our normal life is 80 years. So we cannot compare our life in a biological sense with the story of the Earth. The scale doesn't fit. Okay? So, it's important to understand what has occurred in the past, to try to understand the possibility of the future. Of course, which is the impact of this climate change? I am studying beaches, and of course, if one beach goes under erosion, we lose economical power. Because if you think that most of the people come to Italy for the sea, if we lose beaches, we lose economic income. So for these beaches are important. Nobody cares about the desert. Because very few people go to the desert. So our aim is to try to understand how much money we have to invest to prevent our beaches, to maintain them economically uh, active. Of course, at the end, I would like to say something, because otherwise there is no reason to be here. Okay. Il percorso in Italian, pathway in English, is actually. First of all, we have understand, we have to understand how the climate is changing normally. Second, which has been the causes of climate change in the past. And of course, because I am a geologist, I would like to show you a few evidences in the rocks about this changing. And of course, at the end, there will be something in it. Okay, first of all, I would like to students, of course, to underline that the earth is rounding around the sun. Correct? No trouble? And we know that this circuit is not a ring, but is an elliptic. And this stuff is not uh, a fixed elliptic uh, circuit, but it changes through time. Second point is that the Earth rotates around its axis, but this axis is a little bit tilted. And if you, if you have heard about the earthquake in, uh, in Japan, you have heard that the axis tilted a little bit more than normal. We will talk about this. The other point is that you know that in the summer, the our, our hemisphere is tilted in this side and we get much more radiation from the sun in a direct way. Okay? These are the important points. Let me go far. The other point about climate is that climate is changing. Thinking about latitude, of course, so if you think to Canada, 
the climate in Canada is totally different from the climate in Almeria, and the climate in Sardinia is, is pretty similar. And of course, in the other side, we have the same changes. And this latitude and longitude, if you want, but latitude, are not fixed through time. They change, and we will see how. And of course, if you go up, I do not remember the highest uh, mountain in Spain, but it's in the Canary Island, and it, has, it is covered by snow, more or less, any time of the year, because they high. Okay? Now, few people instead know about the conveyor belt. Probably most of the people here know, you know about the Gulf Stream. And you know that thanks to the Gulf Stream, population in islands like uh, United Kingdom or uh, other islands close by can survive, although they are in a very high latitude position. Okay? Now, this conveyor belt is, has a double, uh, double temperature. You can see a red and a blue current. And these two currents, one is warmer and one is colder, round, around, round, around the, the oceans, and they take 500 years to reach one point during the their path. And 500 years are something like seven generations of people. So it takes five or six or seven, if you want, generation of people to this point from here to come up to here. What does it mean? Does it mean that if I make a small change around here, the effect of this change will be received here 500 years later. Example. You have heard that in this part of the ocean, around here, there is a big island of garbage. Come la, la, la basura. Okay? And actually we are studying which is the behavior of this basura in the middle of the ocean to control or to change, if you want, this current. Because, of course, not me and you, but probably the son of our son will get an influence of a small change. And, of course, think that if we cool this red line, ice can come down and can generate different behavior in the climate over there. Clear? Okay? Now we start a little bit to think which are the climate changes that we know. First of all, I am a geologist, and of course, I deal with plate tectonics. Do you know plate tectonics? You know that uh, every something like 500 millions or 300 millions of years, all the continents link together to form a supercontinent that the last one was called Pangea, or Pangea if you want the English pronunciation. And of course, during this time, Forget about the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt did not exist, of course. So the climate here was dramatically different from the climate we have now here. And if you go on the field, uh, I don't know here in Spain, but there are several, I have seen on the road coming from, from Barcelona several spots, you can find the Permian rocks. And all the Permian rocks around the earth are red because the climate during that time was arid, okay? Now, just to give you an example, here, you can see the evolution of arid, in this color, zone through time due to plate tectonics. But of course, this changing takes millions of years, so they are out of our mind. Let me go a little bit close to our mind. So, here you can see that there are cycles, thousands of years, just a little bit close to our, to our mind. And which is the trigger for this cycle? Is the position of the Earth around the Sun. You can see that this circuit change his path every 100,000 years. And what does this imply? This implies that the Earth could be a little bit farther or a bit closer to the Sun. 
And when it's closer, you get much more sun influence on the Earth. And when it's farther, the contrary. Okay? The other point, the axis. The axis, remember that now we are 23.27, just a little bit more now, now it means today due to the earthquake. So what does it mean? That we are close to the maximum tilting of the axis. And of course, this tilting takes around 40,000 years to flip back and forth. And during this flip back and forth, of course, the sun radiation changes. Last point is you know that the Earth turns around, and of course, because the axis is not vertical but is tilted, it makes a kind of a, a in English is a wall, but that's meant, is uh, analytical. And uh, this stuff gets bigger or smaller, and this change occurs in 25, 21,000 years. So we know that there is a sun radiation changes through time due to the position of the Earth around the sun. But still, thousands of years. Now let me go closer. Sunspot. Do you know about sunspot? Okay, I do not know a lot about sunspot. But what I know is that into the sun we have a magnetic uh, event that causes the presence of sunspot around the sun surface. Now if you look, this one is 2009, we have no sunspot. And this one was 2000, we were, there were several suns of them. Now, what we have seen looking at the rings of the trees, you know that every year one tree makes a new ring when it grows. We have seen that in okay, Wolf, Sporer, Mounder, Dalton, so around this period we have a period of solar weakness. We will see later what, what was the meaning of this stuff. And we have seen that more or less there is a cyclicity of 500 years in large scale, up to 10 years. And finally, 10 years is something that we can touch. Okay? Because still 500 years is a little bit too much. Now, if we talk about temperature of the Earth, you have always to take in your mind that the Earth is cooling, the venta fria. Okay? If you look in the Paleozoic, the temperature to now, we have a degree, a degree, sorry, of several degrees of the temperature. Okay? And of course, for several reasons. And we went in a recent, if you go to we, in a recent time, we wanted to explore how detailed could be this curve coming closer to our time. So what we did, we went to Antarctica, and you will see later, and we dig a well in the ice, and we reached the boundary between, actually we arrived in the middle of the Miocene, not too bad, so only 20 millions of years ago, and we started to reconstruct a curve. And after we detailed and detailed this curve, 